Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here on the Afterlife server. There's me, Winter Tooth 100, and today there is a ton of just little detail-y things we need to do today, guys. And oh my goodness, I am actually pretty excited about a few of them. And the first one being, we are going to be working on the Nether Treasure. That's right, we closed it down for a business in the last episode, and today we shall resurrect it as a brand new shop. In fact, I was thinking about it, it is definitely called Nether Treasure, right? Right, of course it is. Well, what did we turn the gold farm into? Effectively a farm for all of the nether treasures. <laughs> so we need to come here and totally reorganize the entire interior of this thing and just transform this into a brand new shop. So I've had a look through the, sh the, 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 the farm that Puff built in the last episode and I've divided the items up that we're getting now and the items that we're going to be getting in 116.2 update because the piglin trades will change for 116.2 and I've constructed just the simplest cutest little interior it's very straightforward basically all we're gonna do is we're going to put uh, five uh, blah, 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 barrels that's what they're called on this side and five barrels on this side and be essentially selling ten different types of items a couple of the chests will be doubled up like there's some fire resistance stuff and I'm just gonna couple all the fire resistance stuff together uh, I, I feel like that makes the most sense so uh, that's what we're gonna do and I just need to throw the shop together right now and it should be pretty much hunky-dory so we need to get these guys in and strip these and then we're gonna sh we're gonna save this row because this row is gonna be uh, hopper. So I need a temporary block. I need a temporary block. We'll use the blue ones because we know those will be removed. And then we'll uh, uh, oh I did those wrong. I gotta move those. I gotta move those. <laughs> let me let, let me fix it. And just like that, master builder winter is done. Super fast and easy. I think it's 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 very simple. It's very quaint. It's cute even, and uh, you know it's a little misleading. Uh, we got all the, <laughs> we have all the wood types in here, but we're not going to sell the wood types. So you know whatever. It's just to help sell the you know the fact that it's a nether treasure. And yeah, so uh, effectively, you know you can come in, take item out, payment there, and if you buy something, I'm going to give away a free piglin head or pig, zombified piglin head because we get those in. Uh, huge abundance, but also to help with the keep these things stocked. I've just done a very simple You know just a, you know a quick hopper chain for a double chest and whatever it is We could just double them up and in this way we will very rarely need to actually restock the shop Hopefully ideally we will see but I need to grab my shulker boxes and go to the nether and actually grab all of the uh, materials that we're going to be selling so you know let's just do that real fast so i definitely should state that this place is 100 percent closed right now so nobody should be buying anything from it at the moment but i do basically have everything stocked there's a few things we got to go over right like uh you know it, they appear in here but also we know when we go around the back side that uh, there's additional storage now I don't believe that people are going to be buying fire resistance potions, so we're probably going to end up pricing this at something like, especially since they're only three minutes, like a diamond for a row or whatever, you know, something really like you get a bunch for a diamond, like a ridiculous amount. Uh, the bricks might actually do pretty well, and we're going to sell them as bricks because you can turn bricks into the fences. You can't turn the full actual block brick into fences, so these actually have value like that. And uh, what else we got? Soul sand can be used for all of the blue fire items. So, so campfires, torches, lanterns. So, you know, these are going to be pretty cool. Uh, gravel, obviously, is an important one. And then we have a ton of crying obsidian, which is really cool. A few obsidian blocks came through, which is nice. The other side, however, is, you know, quartz. This is all the quartz we got. We got leather, but there's already a leather shop. String. There's already a string shop. Soul speed three. You know, every member only needs one Soul Speed 3, so, you know, there's only 18 of us, so that's two rows, max. And I already have mine, so it's less than two rows, so, you know, I don't expect these to sell uh, very well either. And then this is everything in this box, except for the fire charges, uh, will not be sold in 116.2 because they won't exist in that farm in 116.2. And if we come back here, 
Uh, we also have Ender Pearls, but I don't expect those to sell either. So I don't. I have no idea how we're gonna price a box like that. Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy. I still really need to talk to Puff about exactly how we're doing this, which is why the shop is still closed because we sort of made a deal about splitting all the profits for the piglin thing but we also talked about making a shop together now i'm unclear if we're supposed to be making this shop um with all the stuff or if we're still supposed to split it like i don't know like w do we split it into thirds and then sell it to i really don't know so it's all stocked in here i've sent a message to puff i'm just waiting to hear from him he's afking at the gold farm right now actually keeping this thing going and uh just waiting to hear back from him um and in, in case he's like we're just gonna split it and then do whatever you want with your own half then you know this is still closed and i can literally take half of everything and return it to him but in case he wants to just put it all into a shop, it's already here. And I'm happy to I'm happy to do the extra work and, and re-box it and return it to him if he just wants to split it down the middle. There we go. Make sure we put the signs back. Close for business by owner. We'll keep this up uh, d indefinitely until we hear back from him and, 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 and strike a real deal. But in the meantime, guys, we need to head back over to the main island and meet up with Kaffers, one of the new members here on the server. Uh, because... I think, I think we can get Kaffers to do a little bit of interior work for us, and that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Additionally, since we're talking about the new members, uh, guys, there is an application in the description down below if you are a content creator for Minecraft. Uh, we are looking for new members. You can go ahead and apply down below, and hopefully, we'll see you on the server. Captain Winter. Kaffers, hi. I completely missed. You missed. <laughs> There's a big landing platform up here and you missed. I've come to see you about your uh, about your interior design Ooh, issues. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Interior design. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I love good, it. And good. then you walk inside. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you just shut the door in my face. like. <laughs> now when I, I open mean, the store, it shall be complete. If only, if only. <laughs> if only, if only. The magic of video editing. Um, <laughs> well, we've had a few, um, we've had a few discussions already, haven't we, about this place and about the the various doors that are at different heights <laughs> all over the room. So <laughs> many doors. It's like twelve so elevations many doors. In, in two oh, blocks. Look, I was already here. Campus yeah. was here. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that sign. I just decided to leave them. They're just going to be there forever. Oh, excellent! Yeah, no, just leave it there. It's like a, it's like a bounty sign. I just like leave them everywhere in the server. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thinking. I brought some stuff with me, you know, just so I can kind of like start getting a few things down. So this is, this is my, this is my light blue handbag. Um, Ooh, it comes with many beautiful. things. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I've got like I've got many stairs, many stairs to begin kind of because I thought the first thing that really this place needs is a lot of stairs, so we know where the floors <laughs> actually are going to be. <laughs> <laughs> just so that, to kind of just idea. to kind of lay that down yeah just to kind of lay that foundation and uh the other thing i was thinking just because it amused me and it was like based on a pub that i used to go to when i was young is to have a, a cockfighting ring now uh don't be laughing anyone in the audience who's thinking <laughs> that's a rude word it is not it is chickens chickens <laughs> chickens now i i had an idea obviously because i've i've now watched all of the uhc um so i know who wins um <laughs> And I was thinking we could name the chickens after them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You like this? <laughs> I thought you in particular might enjoy that. that that's the reward for winning. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So chickens named after the, the winners of the UHC. <laughs> they, have, they have to fight eternally. Yeah, absolutely. In the little ring down here. So I'll, I'll kind of construct like an area that people can kind of look down in. I was thinking the bar could kind of go over here. Oh, in this area. Yeah, that's a great spot for it, actually. Because you, you come in through here, and then there should probably be some kind of balcony up here as well. Because this leads to the outside, doesn't it? This one here. Yep, that, that's it. a balcony yeah. as well. <laughs> that's a balcony. That's a balcony. That's the balcony. That's a balcony. <laughs> it's all balconies. I think you'll notice that the only two doors on the same elevation is this one and that one over there. <laughs> right. That helps a bit, actually, because then you can have some, like, a, a floor here. Is this one on the same elevation? Yeah, it is actually. This one is. It's one block off. Is it? Oh, is it? Is it? No, no, no it's the same. It is. it is the same. It is. It is the same. <laughs> Master builder, Winter. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you know, with a with a little little click of my fingers, and this will be uh, this will be beautiful. This will be 
I'm so, I'm excited to see it because I, I hate yeah. doing interiors and you're doing me a great <laughs> service by doing this. Yeah. Especially yes. this one that has a million doors. Yes, it will eventually be a service, so I may I may require something, but uh, it'll be a uh, yeah something something not something not diamonds, but but uh, I'll get back to you on that. Oh, oh, oh good, good, good. I'm I'm excellent yeah, yeah. at bartering. You're talking to a pirate after all. <laughs> of course, of course. I am, as you can see, if I take off my armor, uh, a ranger. <laughs> Look at my little little bow. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. A little quiver. <laughs> back there, yeah, a little quiver. It's good looking skin. Quite fun. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, click on my fingers and uh, poof. Poof, indeed. Oh my goodness, guys. She's she's already working really hard at it. She just logged out, so she's AFK right there technically because she's logged out. I guess not AFK, but we can't look through any windows or any of these doors because <laughs> she's already done a ton of work. I have not seen it yet. I just know that she's working. So while she's working on that, I am going to pull out the replay mod. And of course, you guys knew it was going to happen. We're going to do a quick time lapse. We're going to do this section right here all the way around and get this all filled out and it's gonna be super cool I think you guys are really gonna like it it's probably one of my favorite parts so far so let's get it out let's roll that thing and uh, enjoy the time lapse That's right, you saw that correctly in the time lapse, guys. We have our very first custom tree on the island. And of course, it's my favorite kind of tree, a willow tree. Uh, a whomping willow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll beat you up if, you don't, if you're not paying attention. But if you also notice during the time lapse, this build is also diagonal. It's in this style that we've been trying, but the build is diagonal. In fact, uh... It was kind of hard to tell at first, but the more I was looking at the foundation, like I knew I was building it diagonal, but the more I was looking at it, the more I was like, can you even tell? Yes, you can tell, especially right here in the front. You can definitely tell it's diagonal. But I've done a thing with the uh, these berry bushes, <laughs> which I think is super cool. We got a couple of llama friends apparently loitering around. I wonder where the, where the trader is, if he's got any good head traits. But I love, I love, 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 love these invisible item frames. These are so cool. I love these so very much. I think they add so much to a build, and I, I'm going to definitely continue to keep exploring uh, the invisible item frames. I even went ahead, and arguably, I could have just used buttons, but <laughs> that invisible item frames with, uh, with slabs, which I think looks pretty cool. I think we can still rotate these. Yeah, we can rotate these, so we can actually change these to, you know, get a slightly different look. In fact, that might be even be a little better because... Like I said, otherwise we might be able to just use buttons here, but buttons definitely cannot replicate this, which I think looks pretty cool. These are effectively like sideways buttons, I guess. Ah, oh, super cool. It, it really, I feel, I feel like it ties the well in real nicely. I'm, I'm very happy with it, and uh, it's just, it's fantastic. It's so cool. But guys, I did finally hear back from Puff, and turns out he just wants to go. Completely splitsies on it. So I gotta go grab half the stock from the shop, run it to his place, and then we can actually just open up the shop by ourselves because he just wants to go halvesies on it and not do the shop with me. So absolutely perfect for me. I shall make all of the diamonds. Ready? Ready? Oh my goodness. Pop. Oh, look at that. He even says puppy fishy. <laughs> his base is looking absolutely fantastic it's so cool looking oh i'm so proud of you puff with your building this is so good we're just gonna oh 
Oh, Puff. Puff, you've done something special. You've done something special. Look, there's even nether stuff up there. Oh, Puff. I, 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 words cannot express how proud of you I am right now. Oh my goodness. Um, hopefully you got a lot of extra, extra, extra chests or something because I got, I got a lot of stuff to, to, to drop off and it, it's, it, it's a lot. I don't know if these have sorting systems, but I got, I have a lot of, I have a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. So I'm going to try to find a place for these. Maybe leave a sign. Let Puff know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this place though. It's so, it's so good. Half the loot from the farm, Captain Winter. Oh yeah, here we go. This is exactly half of everything. I counted it down to the block, and yes, there was occasionally bits where it's, you know, one of us got one more item than the other. It really doesn't matter. That farm is super awesome, and this is a, this is a really great haul, and I'm excited to be able to drop this off for him. Now I gotta figure, I'm, I'm actually confused which way we came in. I think it was this way, yeah, with the tree, which means our home's actually this way because we came in through an, through an opposite, or this way. I'm lost, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm not lost. I found his island. Home is that way. Cool. Let's go. Uh, let's go update the shop, and actually put prices on stuff and open up for business. Seems like a good idea. All right. Prices are listed, and I think we have some fairly fair prices. So fire potions, one diamond per nine bottles. So you grab nine. Remember, there's splash potions in here. So mix and match however you want. Uh, nether bricks, one diamond per four stacks. Because that's effectively saying one diamond per stack of blocks. And this way people can, you know, still get their money's worth and also craft fences if they want them. Which is the whole reason to not craft those up. Soul sand, one diamond per stack. Straightforward, you get the blue fire stuff out of that. It's pretty cool. Gravel, I price matched Puff. He has a mall and I don't want to undercut him. So it's an exact price match. One diamond per two stacks. Same as, as, as his shop. Uh, obsidian, same thing. I am price matching Mario, so one diamond per 16 blocks. But you can also get crying obsidian, so slightly advantageous, but really it's the same. On the other side, I'm just calling it Misk, just one diamond per one stack of anything. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't expect this one to sell anything at all ever, so you know, it's whatever. Soul Speed 3, two diamonds per one book. I think that's a fair price. Again, once a player buys this and puts that on their armor, they usually typically will not need to repurchase one of these unless they lose their boots. Uh, string, I believe this is a price match. I meant to check it. I forgot to check it, but I think uh, this is a price match with Jagiera, one stack per diamond. I'll double check, but my goal here is to price match everyone except for Whitefire. He does... Uh, the one diamond per three stacks and I did two stacks just because you know there's not very much of it and I figure if people really need leather that badly and they buy him out completely maybe we can make a little monies off of it or maybe I'll make it four stacks you know what let's make it four stacks let's change it and then finally nether quartz one diamond per 32 items so you see I got most of these set for 32 but there's a little excess here so you know that 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 is what it is and uh, yeah, but I think that one will probably do fairly, fairly well. This is not as good as Mario's because 32 only crafts into eight blocks. And I believe you're going to get a lot more blocks from Mario's for one diamond. However, Mario cannot give you the nether quartz in this forum, which means you can't get repeaters, comparators, uh, sunlight detectors, and you can't get any of that stuff through Mario shop so yeah I might change this later but the fact that we just don't get very much quartz from that farm very quickly I just yeah that feels like a good price and then of course uh, free head with payment so you'll take a single head zombified piglin these are you know I got a bunch of these they're kind of rare pretty cool payment chest very straightforward awesome there leather four stacks per diamond yeah yeah uh, so we'll sell ours out first how about that Seem, seems fair let's be fair we probably won't sell very much of anything, but we are open for business. Whoa, look at the time, guys. Holy moly, this episode just completely blew right past me. We are out of time for this episode, unfortunately, so we're going to have to call it right here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And before we wrap things up completely, I know I realize I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't say. 
that is supposed to be a bakery. <laughs> I know, I, di I didn't actually say but it is a bakery where the baker lives upstairs. They come down and then they go to work in here. And then uh, out, out, off, off to the side here, I put some barrels of, of grain, you know, so they can actually make the bread. And yeah, um, it, it definitely needs some more detail work to represent that it, the fact that, it, that, it's, that it's a bakery. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad I was able to fit that in somewhere in this episode at least, and I didn't totally forget. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Leave a like if you like, subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one.